Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joey and this is Bertoni Motors. My online presence where I get to talk about cars and motorcycles and if it's got an engine and wheels, I'm probably interested and I'm probably gonna talk about it. Behind me is my 2022 Ford Bronco Big Bend Sasquatch Package Bronco from Ford. Probably said that twice, it's okay. Um, in today's video, I am getting ready for a road trip, about 4,000 mile road trip, and I wanna bring my road bike with me. So I got a Yakima front loader bike rack, and I just installed the roof rails. I'll link to that video right now and below in the comments um, to see how I installed that. Um, but now I'm gonna show you guys how to install this Yakima front loader on top of your Bronco. And these instructions are going to be the exact same for almost every vehicle out there as long as it's got two crossbars. So that being said, let's jump on top of the Bronco and let's, uh, let's jump in, get this front loader bike rack installed. But I guess first we should probably unbox it. So let's uh, let's jump into the garage and let's unbox it real quick. That was fun. So why did I get this front loader specifically? Well, I don't want to have to take my front wheel off my road bike and to put it on the car. The issue is I don't have a lot of space in a two-door Bronco and I'm realizing as I'm planning for this 4,000 mile road trip over the next few months, space is going to be very important. So instead of having to take the front wheel off and trying to find a place where it can go, the entire bike will be able to sit on top of the vehicle with no issue whatsoever. Um, once again, construction zone, apologies for that. So let's go ahead, now let's get on the ladder and let's install this bitch. Well, hello there. Let's see if I can jump up here. Oh yeah, ladder is much better. All right, first thing, you gotta loosen up the front. I'm gonna put this on the passenger side because I don't really want it on the driver's side at all. So as I turn this front knob, realize that it helps if you support the middle of this, um, just so it lines up better where it needs to grab. So that is pretty dang snug right there. Now that the front clamp is uh, clamped down tight, we need to move to the rear clamp. You can slide this very easily by basically picking it up and sliding it. Get that out of the way. Yeah, so see how this slides? Basically want it to clamp down where you want this to be. So at the rear of this, there are three different notches. See, one, two, three. Depending on how thick your crossbar is. To pull this out, let's just kind of jiggle it free. It was originally at the top, and let me just put it back where it was so you guys can see it. So when it's at the top, it's too tight to actually close, all right? So what I'm gonna do is end up moving this down to the middle. So yeah, that's giving us a much better grip, and it's closer to where this bolt needs to be. And the bolt I actually took off to make this easier. Uh, I'm gonna just Right it back in. So when you adjust this, these two gray levers, if you adjust that on the side, you see that there's different sizes for wheels. Since I'm installing, I'm putting my road bike on here, I'm gonna put that 700 by 20 by 32. Um, so then when it's up in full position, it's the right size for a road wheel. So now that this bike rack's basically installed, I'm gonna go grab my road bike and make sure everything fits perfectly. It's a little difficult to do this. When the Bronco's so tall, oh, but standing on the tire makes it much easier. All 
Well, look at that. It's not even officially on, it's still working pretty well. All right, so let's adjust this. And this front. Screws down like that. Oh, it ain't going anywhere. Now, I bought the extra lock set because I wanted to be a little more secure with this bike. So you use the key that came with the lock set. This has to be horizontal when you install this. Put the key in. This should slide right on in. Now we have a lock. Now this can't turn. That is that. And then on this side, it's got a built-in cable, which is wonderful. And same situation. There's a lock. If you pry it open on this side, boop. And install it in here. Key has to be in it. There we go. So the bike is on top, super easy. It took in all with filming under 30 minutes to get it up, get the bike fitted, adjusted, the locks installed, all of that. Uh, one last test I wanna do, I wanna make sure that the rear tailgate, uh, like the glass actually opens up without hitting the back. So let's go do that now. There we go, with about four inches to spare. So this was a super easy install. I appreciate you guys watching so far. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in the uh, Yakima rack that I, or the Yakima, Yakima bike rack that I bought, I'll put a link below um, where I bought it on Amazon and the locks as well. I feel like if you're going to put any bike on top of a car, you would probably need to get the locks just to be safe. Um, first thoughts, it's very well done. You know, this system has been around for, you know, 15 years. Like it's a very simple system, but it holds the bike, especially a lightweight bike like this very well. Um, my only thought and my struggle so far was this Bronco's tall and I just made it much taller. So like the Bronco's seven feet tall. Now I put the rack on it. That's, you know, seven and a half feet. Now I put the bike on it. We're well over 10 feet tall, so I don't even think I'd be able to get out of my uh, garage right now or my driveway right now um, without having to take the bike off. So that is a situation, but no worries at all. Thank you guys for watching. We're at the end of this video right now. Um, if you don't already know, there's a lot of other Bronco content on my channel. So hit that subscribe button. If you're in a Bronco playlist, this is the Bronco playlist. Stay tuned. More content coming, especially as we prepare for a 4,000 mile road trip out west. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, bye.